Hello, everyone. I asked one of my good friends to find the values of x and y in this simple equation, which is x squared minus y squared is equal to 9. And he said it is not possible. So I asked him why, and he was like, since we have two variables over here, which is x and y, we may need additional equation in order for us to solve for them. So I figured that this video will help us understand the difference of two squares. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. If you have a squared minus b squared, this is the same as a plus b, then a minus b. Alright, so I'll just express this in the form of this. So we have x plus y then x minus y and this is equal to 9 all right so you can see that x plus y is multiplying x minus y so you ask yourself what are the numbers that are multiplied to get this well the whole of this one i'm going to represent it by 9 then times the whole of this one i represent it by 1 and you can see that straight away 9 times 1 is nothing but 9 over here. Alright. So this means that x plus y is equal to 9. And then x minus y is equal to 1. Now I'm going to call this equation as equation 1. Then I'll call this one equation 2. Alright. So now we can say that equation 2 plus equation 1. So this is x minus y plus equation 1, which is x plus y, and this is equal to 1 plus 9, okay? So straight away, you can see that this negative 9 will take care of this positive 9. Now we are left with x plus x, which is 2x, and this is equal to 1 plus 9 is nothing but 10, okay? So since we want to find the value of x, let's divide each side by 2. So that this will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay. So now we know the value of x. We can easily find the value of y from one of the equations. Now I'm going for equation 1, which is x plus y is equal to 9. Now let's make y the subject since we want to find it. We have y is equal to 9 minus x. So we have y is equal to 9 minus x is 5 over here. So we have y is equal to 9 minus 5 is nothing but 4. Okay. So now we know that x is 5 and then y is 4. So let's go to the first, the problem rather, and then check and see. So here we have x is 5. So we have 5 squared minus then y is 4, 4 squared. So we have 5 squared is 25 minus 4 squared is 16, and 25 minus 16 is 9. So this is our final answer. X is 5, and then Y is 4. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next...